Rose family, it's your girl Serenity Rose and we are back with another video. As you guys can tell by the title, we are doing a, another foundation wear test. This is going to be a wear test for the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer Foundation. This is what it looks like. I have mine in the shade Medium 10N, which I want to say is neutral. So... This is what I have on my face right now. So if you guys are interested to see how it wears for at least six hours or more, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I got my little box here from ColourPop. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. I do have like a little unboxing thing that I'm going to put here. Um, also, I broke two nails, but don't worry. I'm going to fix that today. So it comes with a cute little ColourPop card and it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So the first thing I got is from 4th Ray Beauty which is like a sister company to ColourPop. This is the Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. It has 50 grams of product slash 1.7 ounces. Um, it says an oil free gel moisturizer that drenches skin with a burst of hydration. Formulated with a comforting combination of watermelon, rose water, hyaluronic acid, and marshmallow extract. Good mood caresses skin to soften and retain moisture. So, that is what the box looks like. Super cute. I might keep the box. And this is what the actual moisturizer looks like. I love the like coral pink and white. It just looks so clean and sleek. Um, basically, you can use it morning, night, and I'm not sure what that other one means, but yeah. So, it comes with like a little lift lid thingy. I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Alright, so I'm going to show you the other stuff before I start using anything. The next thing I got is the Pretty Fresh... Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I got mine in the shade Medium 10 Neutral. I want to say that is the N. So, that's what the packaging looks like. So, it comes in a little, like, squeezy tube, but it has a pump, which is super cute. It says pretty fresh on it. And uh, it has the shade right here on the back. So I'm hoping this is the right shade. It does come with a pump. Then I also got the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I love this color of packaging. I got this in the shade Medium 100W, which doesn't look like it's going to be my shade. Or it's going to be like exactly my skin tone. Which I guess we're going for a natural look today. So... Yeah, this looks a bit dark, but we'll see when we use it. And then the last product I got is a lip gloss. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Menagerie. And this is what the actual lip gloss looks like. Super cute. It's like a nice little pink with, I want to say pink and silver and gold glitter in it. Okay, so let's get right into the try on portion okay so i have the moisturizer i'm gonna take whatever's on the lid and just use some of that i guess so take some okay that feels really nice smells like watermelon this the smell of this reminds me of my uh, glow recipe sleeping mask the watermelon one smells so good Wow, that moisturizer feels like heaven. My hair's driving me crazy. Okay, so I rubbed it in. It is a bit tacky, so I like that. So now for primer, I'm going to go in with my Kypris Antioxidant Dew. 
serum. I've been loving this as a primer. It just leaves everything looking nice and glowy. Okay, so now we're going to apply the foundation and we're going to hope this is my shade. <laughs> so I'm going to do half sponge and then half brush. I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to start off with two pumps first. Okay, this is definitely too light. Okay, so this is what it looks like with two pumps with the sponge. So now I'm going to put two pumps on my brush and blend it in. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the brush. Wow, this is so not my freaking color. I look ghostly. Um, you do get a bit more coverage with the brush. But it looks more flawless with the sponge, I think. I'm just going to blend this side out with the sponge real quick. Okay, so I'm going to give you my thoughts at the end about this one. So now let's try the concealer. I have this again in the shade Medium 100W. I feel like this is going to be more like my uh, foundation shade. And it is. I like the applicator, it's like a flat spatula. So I'm just gonna take the sponge and blend that out. Wow, I look crazy. So that is very hydrating underneath my eyes, I feel like. I look super hydrated. I don't know, I feel like the lights are washing me out a bit as well. Because when I look in the like, mirror, I don't look this pale. So what I'm going to do is finish the rest of my face off camera, and then I'll come back to apply the lip gloss. Okay, so I forgot I got a new lip liner from Shop Missé from LA Colors. This is the LA Colors lip liner pencil in the color Cappuccino. So I'm hoping this is a good brown, and it's just a wood pencil. You could barely see this brown. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild lip liner in the color Brandy Wine. That's a bit better.
I'm gonna go in with my Ipsy and Betty Boo collab lipstick in the shade Mauve It Baby. It's this color right here. Yeah, that is super pink. I don't like it. Okay, so I rubbed off the super pinkness. My lips are like tinted now. So now I'm gonna go in with the Ultra Glossy Lip. This is my first time trying their Ultra Glossy formula, so let's see. It smells like coffee. It has like a brush applicator, so let's just go in. This smells crazy strong, but I actually really like this formula. Like, look at that shine. Great. And the last new thing is also from AOA Studio. It's a velour highlighter in the shade Lucky. I tried this once already, so I'm just going to put a little bit more because I forgot I had it. My favorite way to use this is with my finger. I just tap it in. All right, so this is the completed look. I'm in love with how it came out, the foundation. Although it seemed too light in the beginning, I made it work with my setting powder. So right now, my thoughts on the foundation. I give it a 10 out of 10. Although it's a tinted moisturizer, it gives nice coverage. I know like when I think of tinted moisturizers, I think of BB creams that have like barely any coverage, but this gave me a decent amount of coverage. But then again, I don't know if it would cover like acne and stuff because I don't really have that like um problem with my skin knock on wood <laughs> so with that being said I absolutely freaking love this I'm gonna have to message Colourpop because when it came in the mail it was kind of messy so I had to clean it up prior to this video but so far as of right now it is a 10 out of 10 and keep in mind I have combo skin also sorry for the music in the background my boyfriend's in the shower and he needs music and I don't get monetized right now so I'm probably gonna get copyrighted anyways but whatever I don't own rights to the music just so you guys know um so that is what I think about the foundation now the concealer is obviously deeper for me than the foundation so I can't use them together but this is actually a really pretty good shade for me um especially for my no makeup days like my no makeup makeup days <laughs> So I do like the concealer. It's nice and hydrating under the eyes. The coverage could be a bit better. Like I feel, I feel like my dark circles are peeking through just a bit. Um, I could have built it up, but I didn't want anything to get cakey throughout the day. The moisturizer. I love a good gel moisturizer. This one is a gel moisturizer. It does have that gel consistency, but it's it's like a gel mixed with a lotion. Like it's a bit thicker than my average gel moisturizer. Like comparing this to the pixie one they feel very similar but the pixie one feels a bit more like water rather than this one i absolutely love the way it smells i smell the watermelon i love watermelon scented fragrance like skincare um it's like my favorite is like it smells so delicious when you're applying it on the face so i really like it my makeup and uh primer applied beautifully over it so i really like the moisturizer now for the ultra glossy look i love this um, prior to this, I was using the Dominique Cosmetics um, Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. And I was also using the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in Love Struck. And this and the Iconic London one is my favorite lip gloss formula. But this one definitely just took the number one spot over both of them. Like, it would be this one number one, then my Iconic London, and then this one. Like, I love all of these formulas, but this one is my favorite. It has such a pretty gloss to it. It's like not thick, but it's not like that oil feeling type of lip gloss. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the applicator. Like, it's a brush applicator, but it's a bit stiff. It's not like one of those like flimsy brushes. So I'm not really sure if I like that or love it or hate it. But overall, look at my lips. Like that shine is beautiful. And it's not sticky. It's not giving me those stringy lines. So I am... In love with this lip gloss so 
I started applying my foundation at 2.30 and it is currently 3.11. So I've already had this foundation almost going on an hour and it looks amazing. I am about to go to the store. I have some errands to run today. I have to go to the store, buy my son some milk and bring it to my mom because she's babysitting him today. And she has him right now, so she needs more milk for him. So I gotta go run to the store, get milk. And then she wants to run to the store, so I'm gonna stay with him for a few minutes in her house and watch him while she goes to the store. Then I also need to straighten my hair and I also need to fix these nails. And when I do that, I'm going to be trying the Aleway Studio Nail Lacquer in the shade Toffee. I can't wait. This looks like such a pretty, like, fall color. It's like a brown caramelly shade um i have a swatch of it right here like i think this is gonna be a gorgeous shade it's definitely one of my favorite type of colors so i will continuously check in with you guys throughout the day so on that note i will see you guys in a few okay so i'm on my way up to my mom's house and i'm in her elevator and this is what the foundation looks like in public not natural lighting necessarily because it's an elevator light but Okay, so I'm in my mom's house now, and it is currently 3.45. So I've been wearing the foundation for a little bit over an hour, and it is just sinking into the skin beautifully. Um, I'm watching my baby real quick. Yeah, he's drinking a bottle watching cartoons in my mom's house. But my mom's lighting is like orange, so if I look orange, that's why. We try to go to her kitchen. And this lighting is yellow. Um, but this is what the foundation looks like. I'm really loving the highlighter. Everything looks bomb AF, bro. I absolutely love it. Alright, so I have flash on. Um, so it's looking like what flash that highlight dough. So, yeah. This is what it's looking like. I love it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few. So she's making pateles, and if you're Hispanic, you know what that is. She is hooking it up right now. Look at that, look at that. She sells them, so hit me up if you want the links. Okay, so we are outside, and it is currently 4.30. Okay, so we are two hours into the wear test, and this is what the foundation is looking like. Again, it's just settling into the skin as time goes by much better. The lip gloss has worn off, obvi. Like, lip gloss isn't something that's going to stay on your lips forever, so I will reapply in a few. But I'm running to the store to get a gallon of milk for myself now because I already dropped my son's milk off and I came home and realized I didn't have any and I really just want a bowl of cocoa pebbles but I did start the process of taking off my gel nail polish so when I come back I'm probably gonna finish that uh, and then after I do my nails which normally takes an hour and a half to two hours for me um, I'll come back show you my new set of nails and then show you another little check-in and then after that I'm gonna probably straighten my hair because I love my curly hair but it's always all up in my face and yeah this is more of a summer thing for me i can't do curly hair in the winter so yeah that is the plan but this is what it's looking like right now and this is natural lighting mm, it's getting a bit oily on the sides of my nose but besides that i don't have any of the complaints i really love the way this foundation is holding up so far see you in a few okay so it is currently seven It's currently 7.35, which means we are at the five hour mark in the wear test. I finished my nails. I love this freaking color. And I'm in the process of straightening my hair right now. That's why I look so crazy. Look how freaking huge this looks. But this is how the foundation is looking. It is getting a bit oily on my nose. As you can see but for the most part that's really the only part that's getting oily and a bit over here and over here but just right in this area right here is just getting oily um, I'm not gonna touch up until my final check-in I think I have another new foundation that's gonna be a favorite like what is going on 
but really this highlight though has stole the show today. And I did reapply, of course, the lip gloss because it wore off. I had pizza, so you know that stuff don't last forever. Okay, so it is 8.24, as you can see. We have had this foundation on for six hours. Um, I've had it on since 2.30, it's about to be 8.30. So basically six hours. And you can definitely see the oils peeking through on my nose and right here. Like that is pretty oily. A little bit right here. Also like right there. But basically around my nose and on my nose is getting super oily. So I mean it doesn't look excessive oily either. Like I could go outside and be fine like this. And this is highlight, of course, and that is also highlight. Very tip of my nose is highlight. Um, I did put a little bit of highlight down here, so yeah. So wherever else it looks oily, it's most likely highlight. But I'm gonna touch up real quick just to see how it, you know, goes with adding a bit of powder if it looks fresh or if it still looks oily or whatever. So this is like my favorite touch up powder. This is the AOA Perfect Finishing Press Powder. I have this in the shade Honey. I do want to get like a banana shade, but I'm going to take a little brush, just tap into it and press it into anywhere I have oil. Okay, and just like that, that took away the oil, so... It looks like I just applied the foundation all over again. Um, I'm not going to put powder over my highlight because then it'll take away the highlight. And then I have to reapply highlight. So that's double the work. I don't mind the oil stain right on the tip of my nose because it looks like highlight. Which it is highlight mixed with a little bit of oil. But what do you have? So. Also it did settle into like my expression lines just a little bit. Well, I'm pretty sure I could just tap that out. Also, a little bit of my smile lines that did settle in, but as you saw, I just brushed it away and it's practically gone. So, yeah. This is what it's looking like after I touched up and of six hours of wear. So let me give you guys my final thoughts and wrap up this video. Okay, so let's start off with the 4th Ray Beauty Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. I absolutely love the packaging. That's why I still have the box. I'm definitely keeping the box. I also love the actual packaging of the actual product. And I also love how it comes with like this lid to keep it nice and sealed super cute but i'm gonna keep it in the box for now because i prefer this color over this color i don't i like both of them but i like this one more so for now i'll keep the box and once i get more moisturizers and i need more space then i'll toss the box but for now it's going into my collection just like this and yeah if you're looking for a good gel moisturizer i highly recommend this one but if you are sensitive to scent like watermelon scents then i don't recommend because it is very heavily scented but i don't mind i actually love the watermelon scent then there is the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. And I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I mean, it looks amazing. Honestly, I was super scared at first because it looked way too light. But with my pressed powder, it like, matches my skin tone. So that helped quite a bit. But the actual formula, I love. The coverage is nice. It's medium to buildable full coverage. I only used one layer and... Do you see the coverage? Do you see the coverage? 
yeah I only needed one layer if you need two then I'm sure it's going to be fine it feels super lightweight on the skin I'm not gonna call it a tinted moisturizer because I feel like that's too long so I'm just gonna call it a foundation so this foundation feels super super lightweight very breathable very skin like I don't feel like I have foundation on my face um so yeah I think this is probably gonna be another favorite foundation of mine also I give this a 10 out of 10 the concealer I'm a bit on the fence about because I feel like the coverage could be better maybe I should have built it up more um maybe I didn't put enough but I feel like my dark circles are peeking through a bit so I don't really like that I do like the color um I also like the actual formula like it is very hydrating under the eyes it doesn't look dry and it didn't crease too much like those are there because you know I'm getting older and those are going to be there there's nothing i can do about those but not too bad with the creasing but overall i like it so i'm gonna give it a 9.5 because the coverage is not there if i'm looking if i'm gonna use this concealer it's probably gonna be like my no makeup makeup days so that's that type of coverage but I'll keep playing around with it and keep you guys posted in the description bar. And then last but not least is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Menagerie, which looks like this. And I do have to keep applying this like every hour throughout the day is basically how much I've applied. It doesn't stay on all day, but again, it's a gloss. Gloss never stays on all day. Unless it's super thick and goopy and sticky, which this is not. It's like a little bit thick, but it's not sticky or anything like that. It's just super nice and shiny. So I really like this gloss. This is probably one of my new favorite gloss formulas that I've tried to date. So if you haven't tried the ultra glossy formula, I highly recommend. I definitely want to get a few more different colors the only thing i don't really like about this is the brush tip applicator it's a bit weird because when you first use it like fresh out the tube it's super stiff but throughout the day as i kept using it it got a little bit more flexible um there are a little bit of fray hairs like on the actual applicator but once you put it back into the tube like the brush goes back together so the free hairs are no longer there but overall i give this formula slash gloss a 10 also so on that note that brings this video to an end i'm super tired i normally try to go at least eight hours or longer but i started this wear test super late in the day that's because i woke up super late in the day i woke up like at one yeah i woke up at one today super tired um so yeah um that wraps this video up so i started editing some other videos and i forgot to take my makeup off and it is currently 10 38 so i've been wearing this foundation for eight hours and this is of course after the little touch up the oils are peeking back through a bit but again nothing too crazy like i wouldn't mind going out in public like this so yeah now we can move on to the outro <laughs> bye so if you like the video drop a thumbs up comment down below what you guys think if you tried the foundation um anything down below in the comment section please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys go i would love to have you guys join the rose family also hit that notification bell right before you guys go so you guys can stay notified every time i upload and I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!